Oh man, well I got a good one for you guys today. What's up everybody? How's everybody doing on this beautiful day? Your boy Jay, back at it, another video. Shoes you don't see every day. I think, I think, don't quote me on this, this might be one of the first reviews that you see on this particular shoe. The particular shoe that I am talking about is the Off-White Jordan 1 UNC. This particular pair is a size 10 and a half. This was brought in by one of our uh, good consigners and uh, he was giving us the opportunity to showcase his personal pair. It's a pretty dope shoe. You know, I, at first when I started seeing images about this shoe, I, I didn't know how I was going to feel about this one. I am a UNC1 fan. Um, but I'm just like, certain, certain, certain colorways are just getting beat up, right? They're just constantly dropping, dropping, dropping. And then I saw this shoe in person yesterday. And uh, I'm getting the opportunity to do the review video on this. And I got to say, it has changed my opinion on this shoe, seeing it in person, getting to see, touch, feel it. Here's a set of extra laces. Really nice catch over there, Charlie. That was, that was pretty impressive, man. I didn't know you had those cat-like reflexes in you, man. But they've switched up some stuff compared to Chicago Off-White 1. A little bit on this one. Biggest difference on the Chicago Off-White 1, when they deconstructed the shoe, they actually left kind of some of the fuzzy part of the sneaker on the toe box and on the sides. Now what was happening and what I've noticed has happened, even some of our consigners have brought in pairs, that mesh, mesh-like materials was starting to yellow. So they've switched it up on this one. And the best uh, comparison or terminology I could give you is you guys know the zoom flies, you've seen those already. You've also seen it on the Converse Off-White one where they're using like this sheer material. That's on here, a little bit different on here though. It looks a little bit like thicker material is being used on this toe box, which I totally understand because of the height and construction of the shoe, you gotta use solid materials. But I, I like this one a lot. I am a UNC fan and this would look pretty dope. I think with the just on UNC shorts, home or away. I might have to get a pair of these. These currently are on the market for roughly about 2200 to 2500 depending the size. I know we are a little early to release, but you know, when you're moving the way that we are, sometimes you get to meet some people with great resources that are able to convince people to give them access to stuff that they're technically not supposed to have access right away, right? Um, it's a crazy part of the market, but it is a necessary evil, and it's what helps drive the market and, and gives these bigger brands the understanding of what's gonna be motivating and exciting for the consumer, and it also lets the brands know, hey, this one's a dud, or this one is hot. So um, I'll give you guys some B-roll of this shoe. I love this shoe, man. I love the way it smells, it's crazy. I'm a sucker for that Jordan glue, man, but really dope shoe. This video should be released a couple days prior to our grand opening, right? If you haven't seen it already in some of the other videos, I've been yapping a lot about our collab with Nissan, which I'm extremely excited about. We're going to have hopefully cups for everybody that comes into the store. We got shirts that we're dropping that are commemorating our grand opening. We also are going to be doing a bunch of free plays on our heat lockers we're going to have a crazy sale that's going to be dr happening within the first four days of this store opening there's going to be scratch offs with purchases made at the store that could win you a pair of sean Wetherspoons. from there i'm going to be headed to chicago for sneaker con which i love the city of chicago i always have fun i'm excited that this year it's another two-day event in a great city you know the weather's getting a little bit better in chicago so it's going to be fun I know the venue's not exactly in Chicago, it's actually in Schaumburg, but I always love hanging out over there and getting to hang out with the, the guy or girl that understands why we're so crazy over some of the stuff that we chase every day, right? And from there, I go to Toronto for a handful of days, get to kind of get my mind away from stuff that's going on here, hang out with some great friends, take in the sights, and maybe explore some opportunities that are out there for the UN family, right? As always, guys, I appreciate you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video for your boy one time. And listen, if there was ever a weekend for you to come hang out with us, it is going to be this weekend, Memorial Day weekend at UN, Fashion Show Mall, Las Vegas Boulevard. Come pull up, come say what up. 
just come have a good time, man. It's not every day you get the opportunity to uh, see something special take place, man. So appreciate all the support. Much love. Catch you guys on the next one.